All right, welcome guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's uh, let's begin. I think uh, let's begin with a good hand, right? Um, let's go single raised pot. This is sixty big blind steep. So uh, small blind just called and he checked and we flopped the world. So should we bet or should we not bet? Let's check. I think probably we should. Is it just? Look at in. I think this is an ace high board. We should just bet our entire range, and a small bet should be okay. And it looks like it's betting around fifty percent. So let's check. I think this is uh, this is a stream to showcase our new combinatorics module, uh, which gives you exactly which combos to bet, which combos to check, and those kind of stuff. So it looks like anything to do with you know the flush. We have eleven point seven combos. Uh, trips we have nine combos which is betting most of it and two pairs we are betting most of it so all of our strong hands are betting as much as possible and uh, one pair hands we do we do split um, and we do bet our gut shots and some of the flush draws around again 50 50 so let's check I think if you do if you do untake um, the betting the betting checkbox now you, you can exactly see how many combos are uh, checking back so some of the flush draws that are checking back we can easily see uh, all the uh, all the nut flush draws and king high flush draws okay there's no nut flush draws here because obviously uh, yeah the board is blocking blocking much of the nut flush draws anyway so so if you do I think I wish we can click on the flush draws and then show the actual flush draws in the on the board which uh, which I think will come with which I think will come at some point uh, yeah just stay tuned guys i think you should be able to see it but let's see um let's see if we can get to the flush draws at some point does have all the one pair which is all the ace high combos all the queens and all the seven x and all the pairs are in there uh, so we can see that yeah we can see definitely uh most of the most of the made hands are or uh some of the i mean yeah, it's in this node anyway so let's see if we just go towards the betting combos um we can click on a combo like king eight uh which actually bets across the whole range which is interesting king seven uh you know king six and whatnot are all are all betting and then we can see that it makes up of you know we can see the breakdown here really so that's that's the main purpose of it so all right, let's go to the next hand. So if you guys join me, do say hello. So I I know that you guys are here. If you do have any questions regarding this new feature, uh, you know, or anything in general, you know, our new app, Solo Plus, I'm more than happy to go through it with you guys. But yeah, at the moment, I'm just me and then chugging along different hands. All right, this is an MTD. We're looking at MTD spots, single race spot on three bet spots and random spots. So let's go and find out. King three deuce, king five. So we do hit the top pair. So I'm just gonna check and uh, he bet small. Is this a race, is this a hand that we should be racing a lot? Uh, maybe, maybe not. So I'm just gonna check. I'm just gonna call. Uh, king of diamonds is a good card for our actual combo but it's not so great for our entire range. So we're just gonna check. Uh, hey Greg, how are you? Uh, welcome, welcome. I'm just doing some impromptu stream. So just to let you know. Uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, here we should go for some value. Some ace highs will make hero calls. Some pairs will, uh, will call. So we shouldn't go too crazy because we do have the absolute nuts. So let's go and bet small. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, who am I to judge? Yeah, it wants us to shove. You know, if uh, if there is curious cats, then uh, so be it. Let them call. So that's that's what it says. Any king x, any three x, you know, deuce. Uh, we are actually shoving. So if you do like this one, we do we do either shove or check. So that's actually quite interesting too. So that's a big size too, isn't it? So eighty percent pot. What's the what's the pot size? I think pot size is missing there. So that's actually good feedback. I've been um, I've been away and then haven't been looking at this for a long time now, and it looks like shoving. We don't have the bed size here unless we go back 
unless we check the stack depth here. So it's interesting to see uh, that our rain split screen should show uh, the size of the port here, which will be which will be interesting. So about eighty percent port. So we do have uh, three point three combos and five point six combos, which is not not a lot, not a lot, not a lot. So yeah. So if you do take away the checking combos, and then if you do take away the squared height and uh, and maybe turn on this guy because that'll take away all those combos which doesn't come this way. So we have all the king X. Um, we have 4x for some reason, um, it's there as well. So let's check 64 suited, which is the missed. Uh, no, it's not the missed right now, but the 4 6 is still there anyway. So we are shoving them for as a bluff, uh, which makes sense because we need to find bluffs, not just go for value kings and threes. So we do have our uh, full houses and we do have our two pairs here as well, which is mainly bluffs to fold some of his ace high. So this is interesting so i never thought i should be going for a shove but yeah but if we shove what does villain call that's a good question right so villain calls obviously he calls he goes all in with his full house uh which is which is which is what it is um and then he folds so let's see what he folds what are we trying what are we making him fold so we're making him fold some of these highs we are making him fold some of the queen jack queen 10 queen 9 which which beats our you know if you look at the betting range uh we have four six we have five six we have all those flush draws which is which gets beaten by this queen highs and ace highs uh so we do want to show so that's actually a good point though so we are not so we're not poor, we're not taking the poor racing line we check call which means our range is capped we check check uh, I think the key here is villain checking back, uh, capping his range, and so he can't have much king x in his range. And three is a really good for good card for us, and we want and we can have as many bluffs as can, as as we can have that takes this line. And that's what this is. I think shoving. Uh, if you do look at Chow, we show sixty six combos, so we can have you know, 33 bluffs, which is, uh, we are actually shopping, yeah, 33 two pairs or bluffing. So, and we do have 39 combos of full houses anyway. So 40, 32 is kind of the breakdown that we have. So these are all bluffs and these are all, I think none of the ace highs are bluffing, uh, you know, even like 9, 10, 8, 9, 7, 9, all the 4x combos, the gut shots, so uh, 2x combos that take this line. Uh, those are all bluffing anyway, so all right, let's go to the next hand guys. I think uh, we want to see as many hands as possible. I'm just testing out the stream. Uh, we will be having a formal stream going through a specific spot at some point. Uh, but this is just to give you guys an idea about combinatorics and also testing out my stream because it's been it's been a bit of time since I streamed so all right. I've been out of action with my with my arm here, so and also my wrist has been broken. So, <laughs> hence the reason I've been I've been away for three to four weeks. So, all right, Ace Queen. So this is a single race spot. So he raised. We call Ace Queen does have some short on value. Should we deny some equity by betting here, or should we not? So when villain checks out of position, his check is usually protected, and Jack Eight seems to be you know jack 8 8 seems to be a card that actually hits he has a number of 8x uh he has a number of jack x in his range uh he has obviously the flush draws and whatnot in his range he has some ore pairs so his check is a bit protected we can't just say hey we can't just bet with impunity so he does have a protected checking range and his queen does have enough short on value we don't want to waste it and we don't want to clean up equity again. So if he has like ace ten, you know, ace uh, ace nine, uh, you know, ace five suited, you know, king queen, we do have uh, we do beat them. So there's no reason to punt it off. We can just uh, bet. So when he bets half pot, we do have an ace high. We chop it. We chop with other ace highs. When he bets, uh, his queen is still strong enough to call. We should be calling, and. <laughs> 
he checks. So this is where the question comes. A perfect opponent like him should have, if he'd go, he's betting most of his full houses, but he has one combo of full house and then 14 combos of two pair, which is, which is not the ace hands. If you do look at the ranges here, uh, he comes only with tiny, tiny, tiny bits of a sex hand. So if I just take off this guy, uh, wait a square head. Yes, we can see all those, all those ranges. But if you do apply the weights, he has 10, six, he has 10, seven, he has queen, seven, all those bluffs, which we beat anyway. He does have some full houses. He does have some quads. If you do bet, we're not going to get value from much except for some of the ASX hands. Uh, and most of the most of his traps, uh, he can push us anyway. I think this gives us the argument to go check. Uh, I don't think we can get value from people, but who am I? Who am I to say? It? I think we wanted to bet our ace queen of suit. We wanted to bet our ace 10. Uh, we wanted to bet all our jack x hands. Obviously, we wanted to bet our king queen suited, queen 10, queen jack. So yeah, so this kind of, and we only checking back two pair combos. So let's see if you do have pocket nines, if you do have ace nine, ace 10, ace seven, ace six, ace five, ace four. So all the weaker, weaker ace six hands are checking. Uh, and pocket nines is obviously checking too. So, so yeah, so, and we do bet, I think ace queen uh, fits in the range of, you know, uh, that it's, it's one of those outliers. I wouldn't mind checking too. I think just a simple fair strategy and saying that ASX hands is going to check in this range. And then you just bet your, you know, Jack KX along with uh, King Queen and Queen Jack. That will be good. So, all right, let's see. Let's go to the next hand. Pocket sixes. And that's a single raised pot again. So cut off raised, we called King Queen Deuce. Um, his range is still uncapped because we don't know what he raised with. And he can have, you know, 10 jack, he can have, we can have 10 jack as well. Um, he can have diamond draws and stuff, but pocket sixes <coughs> is a pure check because we don't have the diamond. We don't have any diamonds, excuse me. Uh, I'll have some water. All right, so when he checks back, pocket sixes is still racing to shutdown in my opinion. We can't clean up equity because he's 10 jacks and queen jacks and you know, uh, all sort of stuff will bet anyway. Against an old bet, I don't think, I don't think sixes is gonna be good. I'm just gonna fold and that is correct based on what it is. And then here we checking out a whole range to start with, it's correct. And when villain checks back, there's no reason for us to bet except for all ins. So if you do look at all ins, pocket deuces, pocket fours. So all the sets going all in because we are not blocking. There is trade draws, there is flush draws, there is over pairs. You know, we just need to get value from our sets. So we are going all in. Ace deuce, uh, ace three, and ace five. Uh, so that's a good combo too. King queen, king ten, king jack ten. So all of them are going all in, and then we're checking our queen nine, queen x hands, uh, queen jack, queen ten, queen nine, queen eight, queen seven. Uh, we do check uh, you know, some of the king four and ace four type of hands too. We're checking some pairs, uh, basically, and that's and that's basically it. I think that's uh, we're not coming with so many ace highs here. So yeah, uh, so this is good. So there you go, guys, and that's where you see the uh, the combos, you know, the um, the combinatorics, where you can actually see the breakdown of hands, and you can untick it and then check how many combos of uh, you know uh, one pair and high card and flushes and all the breakdowns of different uh, different combinator, different hands come into play. So. So do that. I think that'll be that'll be much much helpful for you guys. All right, go to the next spot, guys. I think Ace Deuce, King Ten Four, big blind defense, sixty big blinds. Uh, it's a fair defense against cut off. Let's go check. Let's see what happens. He bet small. I don't think Ace Deuce without a club 
it's not gonna hold so we're just gonna fold simple decision if you do want to check rise when I, whenever i'm doing big blind spots i always look for what hands we're check rising and how much we're check rising it for so this is a 60 big blind uh spot and then look at how many hands that we're going all in with we're going all in with king four ten four pocket fours king king ten king jack uh so when we raise we just like having an all-in size i think that's no no it's not an all-in size sorry guys excuse me this is 75 percent pot i think i'm i'm misled by the color because i'm confused with the color that we used in solar plus but yeah but definitely 75 percent pot uh we are raising big against his uh, bedding uh, the smaller sizing is not being used often we do call 40 percent we do raise around 12 percent which is which is good so all our two pairs uh some forex hands for equity denial uh i think deuce four has been raised this is i think i'm looking at this uh we should look at deuce four of clubs yeah deuce four of hearts and deuce four of spades uh all of them raise a little bit but i would say make deuce four of clubs raise always and then keep it keep the other ones um smaller would be much i mean keep the other ones uh as a, as, a, as a call would be would be good as well uh, we do raise some of our four x uh, four five and four six with the club yeah um that's a good move as well and then we do raise our two pairs uh and good king x for value anyway so so yeah so that's good and we're only folding 43 percent which is uh we're not folding any pairs so that's a good news <laughs> so if you do have any pair don't call i think only a high card is being folded some of the flush draw is being folded too so i'm keen to look at what is the flush draw that's been folded so i'm just going to untake call raise and fold so i can see all the high cards has been folded and some of the flush draws has been folded so i'm just gonna go and look at deuce three uh we don't have deuce three of clubs so why is deuce three of clubs okay this three of clubs is not in the folding range so it just calls um so i can't find which flush draws has been folded obviously all the nut flush draws should be called so if at all uh if at all a flush draw has been folded i wonder i wonder is it five eight six eight no all the flush draws have been called here anyway so so what's this there's 24 combos of flush draws folded according to this um yeah we really want to click on this and then show all the flush draws up there so that'll be the next thing that we should be doing at some point because we can't actually look at it and then say like okay this flush draw has been folded and this flush draw has been called so yeah i think that's a that's a good request i think we should we should make a request to uh to make it f to look at it and then see maybe i don't know i don't know maybe no definitely not the ace high flush draws ace high flush draws are being called jack high flush draws have been called uh five high flush draws has been called seven three eight three so I wonder it counts a stews of clubs as flush draws. But anyway, I think let's not spend too much time. I think that's for me to I'll take notes and then I will go back and then see if we can improve on it. All right, six seven low jack. It's a three bit pot, so we raise uh, forty big blinds, hijack three bit. We called and it's one of those fantastic flops that we got where we flop a middle pair and uh, and a gut shot. And his range is mostly, you know, he can have all the over pairs, of course. Um, low jack is high jack, it's middle push and three bedding. So his range should look something similar. I think something like this, right? He has all the over pairs. He has all this ace king, ace nine, ace eight, ace seven, king jack, king ten, king nine as his bluffs. So all his bluffs is gonna, is gonna bet anyway, in my opinion. Some of his pairs is gonna check. Some of his uh, over pairs is gonna bet. Uh, ace king, Ace King suited is gonna be Ace King suited. Ace King uh, will bet with the back doors and with the front doors, so that's gonna come along. And Ace Seven is gonna bet. So in my opinion, when I'm looking at this, I think it's definitely based. If facing any small bet, we're just gonna call. And uh, facing any big bets, we're just gonna call. There's no need for racing. Uh, if you do have a club, then we can think about racing. But yeah, but in this instance, he just checked back. So now five repeats, should we go for it? When he checks back, 
does he has any of the traps? So he's checking back most of the one pair type of hands. Um, so if I just go, yeah, he has some traps, but that's okay. Just one combo. We can ignore that. He has 19 combos of nothing and seven combos of one pair. So, um, so on those one pairs are, you know, pocket eights and pocket sixes. So we, when we do have six, so he has nothing basically. Um, yes, he has some ace, uh, aces, kings and stuff like that. That is protected, but in reality, but no one does it. So we need to clean up some equity here. I think, uh, I think that makes sense, right? I think uh, if you do leave him his random queen jack, queen 10, queen 9, those kind of king jack, king 10, uh, those still have like 30 to 40% equity against our actual hand. So we need to clean up them. So let's bet 50%, which is correct. And then he calls. So when he calls, uh, now his range is mostly pairs, right? I think uh, he can have pocket eights, he can have pocket aces, he can have, you know, yeah, when he calls, uh, let's take off this. Yeah, he can have jack 10, he can have nine ten. he can have pocket nines. Uh, so if you do look at this one, he has a eight, he has a seven, uh, you know, king jack, the flush draws and stuff like that. So against the flush draws, against a non-made hand, uh, we beat anyway. So I think we're gonna check and then gonna call. I think that makes sense. Uh, we have to call with the seven, so. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens here. So what, what hands we are shoving. So, <coughs> so we are shoving any nine X. We're shoving any pair. Uh, we are showing a 10, okay, we are showing a 10, uh, we are showing all those missed flush draws, which is king queen suited, yeah, king queen of spades, king queen of hearts, okay, because we want him to have the clubs, so this is where we unblock his folding range, right, if you do have king queen of clubs and king queen of diamonds, do check, because he has the, he has the other king, but when you do have king queen of clubs or king queen of diamonds, do do check back because we want him to have the clubs, so which makes sense. Is Jack is checking, is nine is shoving, is eight is shoving, uh, is six all the all the gut shots, you know, ace eight, ace six, king six, uh, you know, ace high, the random ace highs, uh, or checking if you do have the king queen jack those area with the club, then that's where we are checking the most because that's uh. He, we, we want him to have it. Uh, the rest of them are just shoving. So when uh, we check and he shoves, we're gonna call all the pairs, of course. So we're not folding any pairs, right? We're not folding any full houses. We're not folding, yeah, we're not folding any full houses. So that's what it is. We are folding, uh, you know, a 10, we are folding jack 10, queen 10, ace 10, uh, all those non-made hands we're folding. We're not bluff catching with ace jack and ace, ace 10, we bluff catching with ace queen, our best ace x hands, which is the ace queen. Uh, we are bluff catching, so that's pretty good. All right, guys. I think if you are here and if you haven't subscribed, I think you're you must be subscribed, right? I think uh, uh, that's how you know because I didn't. Uh, this is kind of a secret impromptu kind of stream that I'm doing it myself for myself to see how is all my settings holding up, uh, just to brush up on my you know streaming <laughs> streaming capabilities because uh, it's been a while it's been three weeks since i hurt my arm so hopefully i can do this more often so let's see another maybe maybe five ten hands and then uh, i'll go and get some lunch queen jack we do have a club in our hand uh this is a single race spot so we don't have to go crazy uh we can check against a small bet i think it's gonna be race or fold so i'm just gonna fold here uh, but 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 queen jack with the club is a call according to mr preflop mr postal plus so queen jack without a club is a fold with the club is a call we do raise our 7x hands we do raise 8 9 we do raise king 6 uh we do raise a6 and then we call with the, all of our full houses. We call with, we fold some of the one pair type of hands, which is the Jack 10, Queen 10, King 10, Queen 9, Jack 9, Queen 9, Queen 8, Jack 8, and King 8. So, so yeah, so that's kind of, I thought it's a raise and fold, 
but we do call we do call 33 percent we do call 33 percent in this in this uh formation so let's go retry hand i just want to play i'm just curious this is an interesting hand paired board we have queen jack off suit but with the club it's going to be a call king of spades is a good card for our range so when he checks when he checks what hands he checks right i think he is checking because he's got some shot on value that's what i'm thinking and then should be bluff here so we arrive at this point with when we check we arrive at this point with king six which is not gonna bluff the river uh any of the king x which is not gonna bluff the river um jack nine queen nine queen eight jack eight uh five six is not gonna bluff the river ace eight so if you want to pick our bluffs on the river so this is the next trade guys i think stay with me so this is um so we need to find some bluffs so if you want to find some bluffs because we want to get some value from our 7x hand we want to get some value from pocket aces uh because now he's strange when he checks back his range is not comprised of any 7x uh He's probably having some sort of pair. He's probably having some sort of A-sex hands. Uh, so I think Queen Jack is kind of a hand that wants to bluff. So, and if you wanted to bluff, we have only 16.2 in here. I think we should go for it. No, <laughs> I don't have to check with this hand. All right, let's see what are the what are the bluffs. Okay, when we look at the bluffs, okay, all the King X hands are betting, which is not obviously a bluff. Queen nine, jack nine, queen eight, jack eight. Okay, so the reason that it chooses these type of hands because this is wraps around the seven x, wraps around the six x. So, so it's less likely they can have a hand like seven eight suited, seven nine suited. So uh, that's why. But when you look at the weighted square height, which is again interesting, uh, I think Shao is the only option which is chosen. So we do, we do, we do bluff with queen jack suited. So queen jack of diamonds. So when we do have queen jack of diamonds, that's when we go all in with. So that's our only one pair hand and queen jack of suit. Um, queen of clubs, jack of spade. We are, I don't know whether you guys can see this. Um, is bluffing at some frequency too. So, so it's not bad, it's not bad. Let's go look at the percentage. It's 96.4, so I don't know. I think we are coming up with a, with like how many combos here based on this line. We're coming with four combos and then, <laughs> and then it's trying to split and then it's just splitting too much. I think queen jack, queen jack check and then ace eight, uh, ace eight offsuit. If you just do bet, I think that's okay. If you if you have uh, because eight wraps around seven x, and that actually reduces the combinations of you know uh, seven seven eight he can have eight seven he can have. So I think that's probably logic that I would use anyway. All right, this is a three bet pot. So big blind three bet, and then he continues. We don't have a diamond. Uh, I mean the flop doesn't have a diamond. Uh, we just have one over card and we do blocking queen there, which is kind of nice, but yeah, I think uh, it's just just an easy fold. We do have other hands to defend in our range, which is all the queen x hands and all the hands with the back doors, ace x hands and whatnot. So, so yeah, so those are the hands that we're going to do. I mean, in order for racing, oh, look at that. They're doing pocket eights as a race, pocket sevens as a race. A six suited as a racing. I don't know whether you guys are racing big blind when he when he bets like this. I think uh, any, what's the hand that goes for value? I think <laughs> uh, no, there's there's no hand that goes for value. I think eights and sevens is not a value in my opinion, but it does go for value. Uh, uh, so it's purely bluff racing against the big blind. We are in position there, so. We can, I think, once we once we raise, uh, which is, oh, we're actually shoving here, right? Because this is uh, this is small SPR. So, so this is where it's interesting. I think queen six two. What is that? Uh, we can explore different lines. I think this is where we can look at our uh, uh, post. I mean, our solver plus. 
which is and then have a look at and explore different lines against pocket eight i think pocket eight is in it so let's say solver plus um and then if we do look at 30 big blind let's see let's see we have it i'm not sure whether we have the post flop or not for 30 big blinds uh flat versus three bed 30 big blinds we are the button against the big blind we do have it which is good uh we don't have uh, yeah 30 big blinds we're just going all in all in a lot with pocket dates so i'm not sure whether we're gonna be allowed pocket dates in this in this formation but let's see uh eight of spades yeah pocket is not allowed in this formation yeah we have we have changed a little bit in terms of in terms of the ranges here uh let's see 40 big blinds and see what happens button versus uh big blind yeah we do have pocket eights here okay let's see versus three bad eight of spades eight of clubs let's go there and then just go queen of diamonds six of hearts two of spade uh yeah okay that's fair enough um and then he's gonna bet seven big blinds into us <laughs> and then look at that pocket eight is actually going all in with so this is interesting this is this is uh yeah uh i never thought of you know that this is gonna be uh, an all in for you know uh all in and then he's gonna call he's gonna call with He's gonna call with some of his hands too. He's, he's gonna call with Queen X hands, but pocket eights. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting to see this. Let me let me go through the hand history and see what hands he calls with. Uh, so this is where you can actually go and search for your hand. This is quite an interesting hand. So I'm just gonna search last ten games and uh, where is the pocket? Uh, yeah, this is the one, right? Queen six two. Uh, <clears throat> replay the hand we're just gonna fold this one but if you look at um, if you look at shoving we're shoving eight sevens threes for some of the fours and fives two and a six and king six and king jack okay let's go and replay the hand and then shove it and see what hands here are actually calling with let's go shove which is gonna be a mistake anyway um, yeah uh, you can't see this that's okay because it's a uh, this is a blunder. Uh, not to worry, guys. I think this is uh, once. Uh, I think we are adding we are we are adding range splits here uh, for solver plus. So once this is out, we can actually check through this line and then see exactly what uh, what hands are calling uh, after we go all in with, which is uh, which is quite important to see what hands what hands we are targeting, what hands he's folding, and what hands he is actually calling. He's uh, he's calling fifty six percent, folding forty three percent. So. It's still uh, even against this perfect calling opponent. We are actually shoving pocket eights and you know pocket fours and a six and king six and those kind of hands. So I think that's that, that's good. I think we got one golden nugget out of this impromptu session today. Um, let me wrap up. I think um, as I said, like this is an impromptu session to just go through uh, my settings and then uh, finding out if everything still works and. Uh, uh, and just to say hello to you guys and Greg, thank you for tuning in. Um, if anybody else uh, who's who's watching, do say hello, uh, do subscribe, do like our videos. I will be back on streaming schedule uh, from uh, this week, so hopefully, hopefully I can do this a couple of times um, during the week, and then. Uh, and then explore and explore uh, thank you thank you greg and explore some of the some of the gto wonders that the game and the solar has to offer us and hopefully we can we can get better we can get better together thank you guys thank you for tuning in peace